Thanks for inviting me. Uh, well, that's right, that's public holiday, but here it's better than holiday. Um, so I'm going to talk about augmented intelligence for smart green cities. And my, I mean, the idea I want to share with you today is that we need to go from smart cities and smart green cities to very smart green cities. Why do I mean? Well, let me share with you a quote from uh, Florian Lennart. He says, if we talk about the future of mobility, we have to think about it in a systemic way. What does it mean? Well, let me just take an example. A couple of years ago, you, you know, there was the creation of this fantastic startup at that time called Uber. And everybody thought it's great because people are not going to use their car. It would be fantastic for the city. And I don't know if you remember, I, I think it was one and a half year ago, there was in, in, the, in all the newspapers, at least in the US where I was living, uh, something saying that in New York City, a big percentage of the traffic jam was because of Uber. And because you had all these Uber drivers driving in the, in, the, in the city waiting for customers. And of course, the car was almost empty. And so it increased the traffic jam. And that's the systemic effect. The fact that when you do something here can be smart, but it's not very smart because it has an impact there. And sometimes the impact is really, really worse than the initial effect. And in the case of mobility, the problem that you face when you want to consider it in a city is that it's much more complex than just mobility because you have, it has an impact on the energy, for example. And if you look at it, you need to have, if you have more and more electric cars you, you know, for mobility, then you have to take that into account for your grid and for energy production. And of course, it can have an impact on other things. For example, if you're doing waste to energy, it has an impact on waste. And so it's extremely complex. And the problem is how to manage this small effect here has a big impact there. And this is almost impossible to do, well, unless you work with Cosmotech. So that's what, why we are here. And by the way, what we want to say is that this you know, systemic effect, the fact that you go from small impact here to big effect here, can be extremely valuable. You can find value here. If assume that you want to have a big effect here, then you can use the small, you know, the small change here to have this big impact, and it can be fantastic. And at Cosmotech, this is what we are doing. We are doing modeling and simulation to, for extremely complex systems to be able to predict this behavior and to do you know, what-if scenarios and to choose that even, you know, the best solution even in the most complex environment. And we do that, we're able to do that thanks to two letters. AI, you've heard of it, right? Artificial intelligence looking at all the data from the past and being able to forecast what's going to happen. Well, that's not exactly what we are doing. And there are a lot of limits to this AI approach. I mean, at least AI alone is not enough for many reasons. First, in the changing world where situations are changing, you cannot just rely on data from the past. But that's not the only, the only problem. If you look at what artificial intelligence is today and probably for the next couple of decades, it's mainly recognition. It's mimicking our brain, and our brain has two abilities. The first one is to recognize. If I see one of you today, I can recognize tomorrow you in a crowd. I'm not able to share that with anyone if someone didn't see you, but it's kind of a you know, black box, but I can do this. But I have another ability. I'm able to reason, to think. And this is you know, the reasoning part. Today, artificial intelligence is just mimicking the first thing, the, 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 the recognition part. And this is not enough. So what we do at Cosmotech, we use the fact that in the brains of other machines, like the one all being in this room, we can, there, there is this knowledge, and we can encapsulate this knowledge into models. That's what we call augmented intelligence. And we put all these models together so that we are able to forecast, to run simulations. We are able to integrate artificial intelligence in that, so we can model, for example, the whole city and the whole systems and run simulations to know what happens if I make this or that decision. We are doing that with the Cosmo platform. We are a software company, so we are creating software. And we are doing that for smart energy planning, electric transmission and distribution, natural gas transmission distribution, water, urban transport, mass transit, and regional and high-speed uh, rail networks. So we do that for critical infrastructure in all domains that, of course, are related to territories and have impact on territories. Our deep belief is that augmented intelligence, remember, starting from what is in the brain of experts, encapsulating that into models 
adding artificial intelligence and creating something that is higher, that is augmented if you compare either to uh, human intelligence or to artificial intelligence, and that we believe that we can cre create with that a smarter, greener world. Thank you very much for your attention. Are you raising money by any chance? Yes, by the way. We are currently in a, in a fundraising, yes. How much are you looking for? We are looking for something around 15 million. 15? Uh, 15, one five. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, it's waiting for you over there, the money. You just have to talk to them, okay? Excellent. Don't come, be shy today. today. Thank you, you very promise, much. Right? Thanks for your invitation. <laughs> okay. Good luck. 15 million. Cosmotech is needing urgently to grow faster.